We are made to believe that we're defined by our possessions, that possessions cater connections, whether it be to self or to others. But when we shed the weight of all of these things, having what we need and no more, we begin to understand how much we've been missing. When everything becomes so simple and our possessions are few, the pleasure in the small things become amplified. The small things that may have escaped us entirely had we not had the space to look. All right, we got some sun with us today. It is day 33 um, and I'm walking to a shelter that I can order pizza to. So that is my one and only glorious update. by a school bus and I've been laying in the grass for like three hours now so I think it's time to mosey and get back on this trail it's a far reach from you to me I feel the time and the space between okay, this morning in Akin Virginia we have a gallon of milk and frosted flakes for breakfast. We have donuts and we are drying out the tent. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. Sometimes you just really had to embody the hiker trash. Every mile on my mind leads to you. It leads to you. Some bad news on the home front. Um, last night I was walking and all of a sudden like kind of felt these like really intense shooting pains and it got like pretty severe and then there was almost like a burst or a pop or something and then this really extreme pain shot up through my calf. Right now there's a six mile climb which hurts the worst so I'm just going really slowly. At nearly 2,000 miles, my body began to give out on me. No warning or explanation, just relentless agony. I hobbled on, more aware than I had ever been of my body, and the degree of taxation I was pushing through each day. For the next few days, I swallowed my feelings of frustration and defeat and sought out the last reserves of strength I had. I pushed forward in the duality of my journey. As close as I was to finishing, it now felt an impossible distance. I allowed myself to embrace these looming moments of pain and uncertainty as I made a little more room for my humanness. It reminded me that my struggles live beside my victories, and that this wreckage was immense and as much a part of this story as my triumphs. That this trail is what it is because of these moments, when everything feels like it's crumbling, but the mountains still stand and the rivers still flow, and somehow you manage to wake up and put one foot in front of the other one more time. Just one more time. Miraculously, my pain lessened and eventually subsided, gifting me the continuance of this journey, and things only went up from there. I'm always looking for that light in the shadow. Whoever put this out is a miracle. I'm always listening for a sound to follow. Waiting for something to be. Day 39, 85 degrees, 100% humidity, a little bit dead. I want to go back to the city. There may be nothing there, but I don't care about nothing. I just
Day 40, another day of drought. <laughs> um, I've been doing like 13 mile water carries and this today is the reliable water source. So it's just, it's really just wet mud. So it's kind of a scrounge around here. Uh, you either have to wait for a little trickle to fill up your water bottle for many minutes or you're kind of dumb out of luck and have to keep walking. So, I'm gonna keep walking. I totally jinxed the drought as I headed into the Virginia Triple Crown, made up of three of Virginia's renowned views. Typical. Thought I was gonna be able to miss the rain. <laughs> Alright, day 46 maybe? I don't even know. But uh, just went over McAfee Knob, which is the most photographed place on the AT. And it was raining. <laughs> Uh, just my luck, I guess, because it's been sunny for like 10 days, but we need the rain. <laughs> Everything is wet and dirty. <laughs> this is my deliverance, hands so up high, cause you deliver it all. <laughs> all right, I just ate three hot dogs, two donuts, a cookie, banana bread, three bowls of green beans, two bowls of cantaloupe, and a soda at Trail Magic, which was uh, the best part of my week, <laughs> and then dug a big cat hole, and I'm back on trail. I have 120 miles left. I will wait to see the day of your This heart of mine, this heart of mine. There is a vineyard of the Lord, there is a vineyard for us soul. With all our troubles left behind the door, we drink first light. thousand one hundred miles which means I have less than a hundred miles left of this trail that is insane less than a week left on trail on this winding footpath that had become my home with four strangers that had become my family there is a vineyard for us all we are all pillars in the storms all Love and His mercy There is love There is love In the Lord There is love There is love In the Lord After hiking so much of the trail solo, the gift of companionship was unquestionable. There are many ways to go about this journey. With people was surely my favorite. Nice. Day 48, 
uh, going northbound. Day 142 total, and I am like 39 miles from my end point. <sighs> Wondering if you watch the ships roll in. Will you stay up till the dawn's early light? Do you ever wonder how I've been? Postcard memories only paint a picture. People always say the trail provides. When I starvingly stumbled out of the woods to find the trail magic of my dreams, I decided to never doubt that statement. I'm waiting for you come back home. The trail provides, but so do the people. Thank you! I parted from the van, stuffed and eager, and headed on my way to my last shelter. It's good luck at the ladybug when it's on you. When you're trying to outrun the past Like a ghost you travel through my dreams I only see you through the looking glass Postcard memories only paint a picture of how you are in one place at a time I need you now more than ever before This is it, 17 and a half miles It's hard to know how fast or slow to walk as you approach the end of such a massive journey. To run into the embrace of the finish, or to move deliberately in each step, quieting your pace. Taking time to look back once more at the narrow trail that just accompanied you 2,193 miles. How do you hold yourself when the massive weight of what you've just done puts two firm hands on your shoulders and whispers, you can be done now. You can rest One your weary legs. I know, I'll always remember your eyes shining in the morning light. <laughs> I thought I saw you out there dancing on the ocean. I thought I heard you singing to Riley Riley. I'm just finished. <laughs> in 145 days, I wove pieces of myself into this trail, on rocky ridges, through grassy pastures, creek beds, and on mountaintops. Each morning I awoke, tempted by the motion. Each day my body carried me through this endless, fearless, and tender story of becoming. And now, this body carries on to become again.